Ocean Gate's Titan submarine embarked on its journey from St. John's Port, Canada, precisely at the point where it needed to dive into the ocean, situated in the vast North Atlantic Ocean 700 kilometers away from St. John. At this very location the haunting wreckage of the Titanic rests beneath the cold water. The expedition was scheduled for Saturday, June 17, 2023, and as planned the following morning at 8 o'clock, the Titan was set to be lowered into the water. However, just before the dive, a defect was noticed in the Titan. Even so the crew took a brave leap of faith, risking everything, and plunged into the sea. Intrigued to know the outcome? Subscribe Labata and let's find out together what happened next. In June 2023, Ocean Gate hosted a costly deep sea tour for five wealthy individuals. Their destination is haunting wreck of the Titanic, the Titan, having journeyed to the Titanic twice before had seemingly succeeded in its earlier dives. But tragedy struck on this ill-fated tour. Sadly, the third dive joined by five billionaires who each paid $250,000, ended in a sensational disaster. May their souls rest in peace. Now, here's the captivating twist. What really led to the disaster? Let's find out. Starting from the Titanic curse, a captivating enigma. Since James Cameron's epic Titanic captured the world's imagination on the big screen, this fascination has enchanted not just ordinary souls, but also the wealthy and elite. The wreckage or an elusive treasure rests 3,800 meters deep in the North Atlantic, just off the enchanting Newfoundland coast. It beckons adventurers and dreamers igniting a fire of curiosity within all who dare to explore. Cameron himself ventured to the Titanic 33 times. Ocean Gate the daring deep-sea pioneers, seized the chance to capitalize on Titanic tourism by crafting the remarkable submersible named the Titan. This cutting-edge vessel was relentlessly promoted as a fortress against tremendous pressures, allowing breathtakingly close-up views of the entire majestic wreckage. The Titanic hailed as an unsinkable wonder, stood as a colossal ocean liner the first of its kind, with an unparalleled elegance akin to a deluxe five-star hotel floating on the sea. It boasted lavish ballrooms and every luxury imaginable. Yet destiny took a heart-wrenching turn when an iceberg's chilling embrace breached the Titanic's supposedly invincible hull on that unforgettable night of April 14, 1912. The once majestic ship succumbed, claiming the lives of 1,500 in the icy Atlantic waters. But amidst this tragedy, there was an even more harrowing ordeal faced by the five unfortunate souls aboard the Titan, who found themselves on the brink of oblivion, their existence hanging by a thread as the unforgiving waters closed in on them. At a staggering depth of 3,800 meters, the Titan finds itself ensnared in a vice-like grip of water pressure equivalent to the weight of 220 majestic elephants bearing down upon it. And when it comes to the Titan, its very construction became a subject of concern among the scientific minds. It deviated from the conventional path of safety, as Ocean Gate dared to prioritize artistic design, pioneering technology, and spacious interiors. But little did they know that this choice might have paved the way to the Titan's eventual doom. As one critical error of judgment took a haunting question, will the Titan's fate be sealed by the choices made in its construction? Titan's haunting demise a mere 340 meters from the majestic Titanic, the hull itself a central point of concern in this tragic tale, raised eyebrows among experts who questioned Oceangate's choice to use carbon fiber instead of the more robust titanium. Imagine the hull, a crucial component five inches thick and crafted from unconventional carbon fiber, designed with a cylindrical vision to grant its occupants more space. A bold departure from the typical dome design embraced by most deep-sea submersibles. Even with a composite carbon fiber hull boasting the expertise of NASA, it couldn't defy its fate, ultimately imploding under the immense pressure. Could the carbon fiber material and hull shape be the culprits behind this catastrophic event? Or does the answer lie in the testing processes employed? Only time and careful analysis will unveil the truth lurking beneath the depths, plunging humans into the abyss demands rigorous scrutiny and testing, microscopic checks for every body part you'd expect. But here's the shocker, Ocean Gate did nothing. Can you fathom it? No virtual model, no conventional testing for their devices. It's like venturing into the unknown without a care in the world. In the aftermath of the disaster, the truth burst forth like a bolt of lightning. Former Ocean Gate Director of Marine Operations, David Lockridge, decided to break his silence revealing a riveting tale from his time with the company. Lockridge had forewarned about a grave danger lurking in the depths. He passionately stressed the urgent need for thorough testing before endangering any passengers on board the sub. But instead of heeding this dire advice, OceanGate attempted to silence him through legal action. Yet, Lockridge was not one to be silenced and published a scathing document that laid bare all his concerns. 
boldly claiming that the Titan was a disaster waiting to happen, and what fueled his conviction, an inspection report that refused to certify the sub's suitability until crucial corrections were made. An absolutely crucial piece of information from the engineering department was deliberately concealed from Lockridge, involving Titan's viewport. Brace yourself for the shocking twist. The report clearly stated that the Titan's viewport was certified only for a pressure of 1,300 meters, yet Oceangate recklessly sent the sub plunging down to unfathomable depths of 3,800 meters. But the hair-raising revelations don't end there. Lockridge's report laid bare the company's shocking refusal to invest in a viewport that could withstand the required depth of 4,000 meters. It's almost too hard to believe that such a critical safety aspect was neglected, putting passengers' lives on the line. Experts suggested a chilling possibility. The Titan might have developed sinister microcracks, lurking unseen beneath the surface. And yet, this potential catastrophe remained unchecked. The testing that followed proved to be insufficient in certifying the sub's safety. Oceangate appeared to have turned a blind eye to crucial factors that could have made all the difference. Instead of embracing non-destructive and unmanned pressure testing, they opted for a method better suited to detecting safety issues. 2018 is the year when the Marine Technology Society, a distinguished group with a rich 60-year history in maritime technology sent a letter of warning to Oceangate. The warning echoed with unanimous concerns, casting shadows over the development of the Titan. Meanwhile, Oceangate's marketing of Titanic tours came under scrutiny, accused of being grossly misleading. The claim that the vessel would surpass safety standards set by the esteemed risk assessment company, DNV, but Oceangate had no intentions of seeking formal certification from DNV for the Titan. The warning was nothing short of a foreboding prophecy, predicting a catastrophic disaster due to the company's experimental approach and disregard for traditional testing. The Titan lost all contact just 45 minutes into the dive leaving its mother ship the Polar Prince. The crew's last moments were shrouded in mystery, haunted by the malfunctioning systems that plunged them into darkness. The sub's end caps were made of titanium, yet it provided little solace. The crew's plight was far worse than imagined. Locked inside, unable to escape, they were like chicks trapped in a deep sea coffin. Another shocking thing is that Titan was equipped with video game controller. Surprising right? Yet, these controllers are more versatile than you'd think. They're even used in military applications due to their sheer convenience. The crew amidst mysterious malfunctions and strange noises, bravely ascended, alerting the Polar Prince before losing communication. What lies beyond that moment is a tantalizing enigma, leaving everyone guessing. And here's the heart-pounding climax. Meet Jose Luis Martin, the engineer with a different perspective. He believes the crew on board knew what was coming in the minutes before the implosion. According to him, an electrical failure could have left them powerless to control the sub, causing it to plummet like a rock to the ocean floor. The crew possibly huddled together, looking out through the porthole into the dark depths of the North Atlantic. Martin said, the crew endured 48 to 71 seconds of sheer terror, like something out of a horror movie. Those harrowing moments led to a rapid descent, ultimately ending in implosion and sudden death. The pressure during the final moments was intense, comparable to someone pricking a balloon. In the face of such overwhelming odds, all they could do was pray for it to be over soon. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.